we need to find something to use as a filter. Usually the best thing to use is your sock. 23-year-old whiskey, one-day-old sock. Tastes <laughs> fantastic. James and Martin are at Buffalo Trace Distillery in Louisville, along with Sam from Against the Grain Brew. And before they can get started on their mint julep scotch ale, they've got to get their invaluable bourbon barrels over to David. Tough, but we've got them here. All right. Oh. Now we're talking. It works. Yeah, I love that. David, that's two of the casks now attached right. to this amazing spinning wheel. Yeah. But I think Sam and I should probably get mashed in, and you and James can finish this off. Me and James? Yeah. OK, yeah, no problem. <laughs> That'd be great. We're going to use this Marisotter malt that we got. It goes really well with our Kentucky water. A really high calcium water in here in Kentucky that allows us to make great beer and also great bourbon. So we're mashed in. Let's cover that up. We need to rest and help out James. Hey, that was slick. So let's hope there's some whiskey left in here. Oh. Oh, oh. So it looks a little bit like squid ink. Yeah. We need to find something to use as a filter. Usually the best thing to use is your sock. <laughs> oh, well, that's better. That's much better. 23-year-old whiskey, one-day-old sock. Tastes <laughs> fantastic. James and David return to the back-breaking work of attaching the last cast to the rig, while Martin and Sam are equally hard at work. When's hop time? Let's have a look. No. I chose the perfect moment to show up. This is my favourite bit. We've been standing here for the last hour doing nothing, so it's about time. How much of these hops are going in? All of them. Uh, I'm skeptical. Four handfuls. I've got big hands. <laughs> and because this is going to be a very sweet beer, a nice amount of bitterness is what we need just to balance out a little bit. I'll let you guys get the mint and I'll get back to helping David. With the build nearly complete and the boil coming to an end, it's time to add the last few ingredients before transferring the wort to the homemade barrel whirly gig spinny thing. So it's a bit like making a fine tea. We want all the aromatics of the mint to sit in the wort. Oh, it actually smells a little bit like a mint julep minus the bourbon. So we need to get this in our new system as soon as we can. Let's see if they're done. Quick safety tip, this is very, very hot, David, and we're transferring it into something you made. <laughs> <laughs> Flip the switch. Oh, there it goes. And already it's coming out from this one, filling the cask below and going into the cask below that. Once we get all the work transferred in, we're going to spin it around, we're going to oxygenate it, we're going to use this to cool down the wort and infuse the spirit of bourbon into this beer. David, start it up. Hold your breath. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We have liftoff. Wow. Uh, wow, David. <laughs> awesome. David, it's beautiful. The casts are heavily charred in the inside, and you see those little bits of char the beer's picking up. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to filter this before we serve it. Nine, ten. We're full throttle, gentlemen, full throttle. So we're going to go old school and have it to feed it. Martin, do you want to open the valve? One baby. Clog with char. <laughs> no one wants a mouthful of char. I'll take a mouthful of char. <clears throat> Go. A bit more, like a lot more. Is 
So the flow is quite slow, but it's flowing. I think there's still a good bit of char in it. Look at the color. It's as black as Satan's soul. I think the balance is perfect. You're getting the sweet malts that we put into that mash. You're getting the mint in there. Ooh, you definitely get some bourbon character coming through that now. Obviously a little bit too sweet because it's not fermented out yet, but I think it's going to be a really nice base to make the ultimate mint julep beer. So that's the last of the work transferred. Sam, have you got some yeast we can pitch you? I do. Got a nice English strain here. Should give it a nice minerally finish. I think that's a great combination. A wee heavy with an English yeast. We've taken 200 years of bourbon making expertise, a 500 year old beer style from Scotland to create a fermented version of Kentucky's most iconic cocktail. I say we celebrate with some of our beers. To the ultimate Scottish Kentucky collaboration. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I've got toasted marshmallow, caramel, toffee, mint, eucalyptus, leather, cinnamon, nutmeg, oak. There's a huge amount of flavor in there. Cheers. What do you think of it? I really like it. I can taste the bourbon barrel that it was made in. The caramel, the molasses. Big, deep nose, like roast and malt. Was it the best mint julep beer you've ever tasted? It's the only mint julep beer I've ever tasted. So it was also the worst mint julep beer you've ever tasted. Really? 